it is time for me to retint my brows. And while I get this mixture going, let's talk about the Super Bowl. I know that there are some Taylor Swifties out there in this world, but I'm going to let you know right here, right now. Oh, girl has a concert scheduled in Japan. Um, I hope she make it. I hope she stay. Because I am a true NFL football fan. And I'm sick of her. And I don't give a damn who out there got something to say about it. I'm sick of seeing her ass. Say what you want in the comments. I don't care. We see her more than we see some of the actual players and some of the replays. And it really pisses me off. I'll be in Vegas for Super Bowl. I'm actually going, so I probably won't get to see it on television, and I'm glad. But like I said, she's she has a concert in Japan the day before, and I hope she makes it. But she'll probably be on stage. She's going to cheat those people out of their money. And she's going to do a half-ass performance so she can make the Super Bowl. I'm willing to bet on that. That should be one of the best in Vegas, as a matter of fact. So anyway, that's my rant about that. I'm going to go in first and I'm going to make sure that my brows are clean. And there's no oil or anything on my brows. So I'm just going to... This is just water. Just to make sure that there is no oil or residue or anything on my brow so that my pen can move swiftly, no pun intended. Brows are sisters, not twins, just for you guys to know. Because one of my brows is a little bit fuller than the other. And I think this is the fuller one. I This is not so much. I had stitches over here, so... It's kind of sparse in some places. I can typically do this freehanded, but just for the purposes of my audience, I'm going to show you how I'm able to get my brows to look um, even. The way I do it is here is where my brows should start. And then here is where my, uh oh, here is where my arch should be, right? And then I'll take it over here at the corner. And this tells me where my brow should actually end. Here, start drawing my outline. And there's my brow, my shaping. Move on to the other side and do the same thing. And that's my mapping. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Vaseline on um, my brow on the outside of the mapping so that um, the tint won't get on my skin in places where I don't want it to, to tint. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the tint. And that's the color. I'm using the natural brown. And you just go in, place it. I use very thin at first so I can make sure that I don't go over my mapping area and at the head of the brow you want to go a little bit lighter so you can have make sure you have that gradient effect for your brow so i go a little bit lighter at the head of the brow i'm not quite sure why the audio went out but i'm just finishing up the brow and then i will show you what it looks like completed and this is a completed look with the tint on now we just wait for the removal process Oh, I had this on too long. <laughs> Let's take it off. It's almost dry. Oh my goodness. I hope it's not too dark. Uh, uh, I left it on way too long. I got busy and then come back to take it off. All right. And you can tell it got really dark because look at it on the cotton ball. Look how dark it got. 
the longer you keep it on, I, the darker it gets. So now I just want to see, and you can even tell by the mixture, see how much darker it got than before because it's been sitting oxidizing. <laughs> so I want to see if it looks too dark for my hair color. This is just brow gel. I comb them in the opposite direction so that way they can stay up because like I said, they're very fine. Let's see if it's too dark for my hair. I don't know how it's coming off for you all on camera, but I think it might be just a little dark. You got to know what you think. And this, like I said, will last about 7 to 14 days, depending on your skin type. If you're more on the oily side, it may fade a little bit quicker. Also, Prior to doing a tint, you might want to do a patch test. I didn't do one because this is the tint that I always use. So I didn't do a patch test before because I already know it's going to work well with my skin. But you want to do a patch test to make sure that there's no irritants or the dye won't irritate your skin because some dyes, they will irritate people's skin and you will have, a, have an allergic reaction and you don't want that. The next thing is if you are considering doing any type of microblading, microblading, micro shading or anything like that that's a little bit more permanent and you want to know what the look is going to look like start with the tint um, they also have henna tints as well where you can do henna henna and this regular tint is going to last about the same time to be quite honest i'm not quite sure why there is such a difference or why the price difference is it's what it is but this you can do at home and it's something that you can try before you go to something more permanent like a permanent brow this is the natural, um, the natural brown. I let it oxidize a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but hey, it still looks pretty good for when I um, darken my hair. So you guys get down in the comments and let me know what you think of this brow tutorial. If you want more, I'm happy to do more. So yeah, that's the brow tint.